M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I noticed that the ICOM 7100 is back in production, which I think is good news. It's shack in the box, has a separate head unit, it's very portable, you can use it as a base station, it's touchscreen, has DR mode, D-Star, you know, VHF, UHF, lots of filters. It doesn't have a built-in tuner. Now, using it and looking at the way that it operates, it's actually, believe it or not, is very similar to the ICOM 705 it's all mode all bound yes the 705 is 10 watts the 7100 is 100 watts and obviously the color screen is very appealing but you can pick these up now these 7100s and they literally do everything for you uh, for a very good price at the moment brand new the 7100 is now coming out at over 1200 pound and you'll find that the 705 is similar if you just read through at the specs here just slowly so you've got the first heading there is HF, VHF, UHF, and that's what it says here on the 705 on the right. Um, we've got the go further down. Now, the 7100 does do the 40 meter band, you know, it's 70 megahertz band, so that's pretty good. I think you'll get it receive on the, on the 705. Now, does it TX on that? I haven't tried that. Um, then we go down to D-Star and the DV mode, touch screen where well, they're both touch screen the control head is going to be smaller than the 705 for the 7100 and it's only one cable that connects to the 7100 and you can plug in your microphone the speakers in the back of it so it's very appealing they're both excellent units but i thought um you know if you're looking for a good value radio second hand at the moment around seven to eight hundred pound i would say uh, if you buy the 7100 and set, but the thing is, the 705 is going to cost you uh, even second hand over 900 pounds. But yeah, it does have Bluetooth, Wi Fi, and there are ways around the Bluetooth with the 7100. But it's quite a tough choice because many of us do want, if we've got the right license conditions, many of us do want the 100 watts. Um, so yeah, let me know what do you think. Get them both. Do you like QRP, prefer QRP, you don't really want to push 100 watts, um, which is the way you know, it has gone uh, recently with, with uh, you know, with ant antenna um, restrictions and limitations and new licensing conditions. So, yeah, I think I've pretty much covered it. So I'm going to be testing these actually physically side by side soon. And I mean, I know some people will say, well, why compare? Well, why not? I'm doing it for fun because I'm enjoying it. Uh, but they're great, both great radios, and I'm sure you'll be very happy if you have them. So 7-3, catch you on air. Please remember to subscribe to my channel. All the best. Bye for now.